Hey guys and gals, friends of YouTube, Load Fly Hellies here. Um, got a couple of unboxing unboxings we're going to do. Um, I have a uh, World Models Clipped Wing Piper Cub, red and white. <clears throat> I've had this plane before, you've probably seen it in some of my older videos. Uh, I ended up a couple years ago trading it to Ken for an Ultimate Biplane, and he wanted to swap for it, so I did. Uh, and then for I don't remember what happened but anyway later on he bought me another brand new kit and uh, for helping him and anyway I've had this in my closet for a little while so we're gonna do an unboxing on it I'm gonna start to build I will do a build video on, on it I've had had several requests to do some more builds so uh, I guess maybe to some people they're not too boring so I'm, I'm gonna do a build on this one <clears throat> excuse me and I also have a uh, Maxford USA uh, Army version uh, L4 Grasshopper Cub that I bought the other day. I'd been looking for one for a while and, and I found this one. I really liked it. It's very detailed and looks to be built really well. So anyway, we're going to do both unboxings on those planes here and uh, then hopefully by maybe next weekend I will get started building them. I've been very, very busy. I've got four grandkids playing, three boys playing baseball and a granddaughter playing softball. Two of those kids made all-star teams so they're in tournaments and everything else and I it's it's just been crazy uh, I haven't had much time to to do much on flying or building so but anyway uh, let's get to this and we'll do the the clip wing cub first and then we'll do the green one all right um, here's the world models brand one six scale clipped wing piper cub I believe it has a yeah 63 inch wingspan I run a a Magnum 52 four-stroke on this plane and it flies it very scale. It's it's not overpowered by any means but it flies it very scale and does have plenty of power to fly it but uh, uh, they make it in three different colors the blue and white which my friend Billy has the red and white which I have here and then the yellow one, black one, it's really sharp too um, our friend Jason had it but he he crashed it just right off the bat and I don't think he's ever rebuilt it but uh, anyway let's see what we got going on in the box here I have built this plane before, it's a pretty easy build, so let's set this on the floor and we'll see what we got here. Okay, um, get a knife, I'll start cutting this tape off of here. Be careful not to cut your covering. These models are they're packed pretty decent. Um, they have metal hinges in the control surfaces. They're already hinged, so that's a plus. Uh, for the most part, they've got the covering cut back where you glue them in. You, I think you have to trim just a little bit, but uh, got most of that. Anyway, there's the uh, vertical and rudder. Here's the horizontal. They've already got the covering cut on that where you have to glue it. There again, it's got metal hinges already hinged, so. Um, this particular model is built really well. The only thing you need to watch for on this world models, on this particular one, the plant, the cub is the covering. All this trim covering, like uh, right here on the wings, these white stripes. Uh, you need to really iron those tips down and put a little bit of uh, uh, trim solvent or clear fingernail polish over the edges. Those will come up real easy. Their covering is not the best in the world, but it's not bad as long as you take your iron and heat this stuff down before you ever fly it. Uh, that's the only problem we've ever had with them is these tips of these stripes here coming loose so we just iron those down and I use trim solvent around the edges of them but you can use clear fingernail polish too so uh, anyway there's uh, both wings let's get them untaped and they have uh, they're all red on the bottom and then of course the, the standard clip wing paper cub white stripes on top uh, there again these hinges are uh, ailerons already pre-hinged. Um, you got the servo plates with the blocks. I think you have to glue the blocks on the back. I can't remember for sure. But uh, there's both wings. Now let's see what we got under here. Get this out of here. Let's lay this over here. All right. Now we have a. Let's see. Here's the windows. They're in one piece. You do have to cut these out. You have to trim around them, leaving about an eighth of an inch, I think, and they glue from the inside. And you use uh, canopy glue on that so you don't get any 
glue showing if you use epoxy or super glue. Super glue will leave a white film. Epoxy sometimes will show up kind of yellow on you, but a, a, a canopy glue works really good for this to put those in the, in the fuselage with. <clears throat> and then we have our fuse. It's wrapped pretty good. Got foam around the tail here. Um, I'm not going to take everything out of the plastic right now. But the inside of these are built really well. They're very spacious. A lot of room in here to work to put your stuff in. And I usually build a little platform to go up here for a pilot figure or two if you want to. The, the cowl, I mean, well, I am going to open this because I want to show you something on here. So I'll just open this end of it. Leave it kind of wrapped. This is one thing I really do like about the world models. Here's your cowl. But what they send you, well, okay, it's on it. There's, that's the windshield, sorry. Okay, here's your cowl. And what they send you is this little thin, clear template. And what you do, you get everything built and your engine in place, and then you use this cowl, this clear one, you, you fit it on there to cut your holes for your needle valve and your head or whatever. Uh, and then you take this one and slide it right over the real cowl and then outline your holes that you've drawn and cut and then you have a perfect cutout on your good one and you don't you don't take a chance on messing it up because sometimes when you do these you have to kind of guess at where you're starting and you'll get off in a too big of a hole but actually on mine I'm going to uh, I'm going to run the engine on this one inverted and I found a 90 degree elbow it's 30 bucks but it's kind of pricey but I found a 90 degree elbow for the four stroke mufflers and that way I can run this inverted and pull my head down the bottom and the engine or the muffler will come just right off of the bottom of that and I won't have to cut on my engines on this thing. And also the little engines that come with it, they're okay. They're just your typical cub white plastic engine. You have to paint them and glue them on and everything. But uh, I'll show you in this next unboxing of Max Review USA for I believe they're $9.99 for a set. They have some really, really nice looking fake engines. I mean they look real, uh, real nice and I'll show them to you in a minute. I'm going to order a set of these to put on here instead of this one because uh, they look so much better. They look so much more realistic. So anyway, got that. Windshield's in here. Okay, I'll, let's get this all back down in here. Take that out. Um, everything's all taped in here. It is boxed pretty good. And like I say, for the most part, I like these cubs on the world models. Now, my friend Billy has some pattern planes from them. He's had three different ones. And he's had a lot of trouble with them. The covering's coming off of them a lot, and the landing gear is very, very weak. The landing gear on this is pretty strong. But the, the world model um, pattern ships, pattern planes that he buys, he's had a lot of trouble with them. I think he said he's bought his last one from them. Uh, and that's the only, uh, the only experience I've had with world models is these cubs... I've had this one, and then my friend Ken has the third scale cub. That's a World Models, and it's built really well, and the covering was good on it. But the pattern ships that he's bought, I think he's had three different ones, and every one of them, the covering just keeps ripping off, and the landing gear, just a, not even a hard landing, and the landing gear will just fold up under. You have to go in there and rebuild the block. So uh, depends on the model, I guess, that you get from them, how they are. But anyway, you got your uh, bag of goodies over here. you got your wheels and all your hardware. I'm not real crazy about their hardware. I don't like their clevises. So I will probably change that uh, in, out into some great planes. It's got a pretty pretty scale landing gear. That bag's open. And then the hubcaps are yellow, cub yellow. But what I do, like on this red one, I paint mine red to match my plane. Billy painted his black and that looks really good with all the black trim. But you got all your, your little bags of screws are all separated in here. Uh, engine mount and all that stuff is in this bag and then all your control linkages are in the uh, bottom of the box they're taped down here I'm not going to bother taking them out but that's pretty much all of it um, let's see if I can. yeah they're taped down but anyway it's got fairly decent linkages with it uh, like I said I'm not real crazy about their clevises uh, you can use them and just be sure and use a safety piece of rubber hose over them but um, just not not real crazy about them. That pin they've got in, I feel like could work loose real easy. So I'll, I'll probably change those to the Great Plains. So anyway, there's the unboxing of the World Models One Six Scale Clipped Wing Cub. And like I said, I have had this plane before. I was very happy with the way it flew. Uh, Billy and I actually bought them to learn to fly uh, pattern together 
or, or formation, whatever you want to call it. And then I got rid of mine here a while back and had never got another one, so we're, we're going to get back into practicing on that again, too. But it's just a fun little plane, too. Pretty easy build. So, uh, here for too long, another week or two on my all my ball games, slow down with my grandkids. I will get going on the, getting this thing built. We're going to build this one first, and then we'll go and build the green one that I'll show you here in just a minute. Okay, this is the Maxford USA 1 6 scale uh, L4 Grasshopper, the military version. They don't have any pictures on their box, but it's packaged very well. Uh, very pleased with the packing of this thing. Get that down on the floor. And I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. Be careful when you're cutting your tape on this and don't cut into a covering on your wing or something. But anyway, uh, this one, there's your bag, your fuel tank, and landing gear, and uh, I think these are the springs that go on. It's got a real scale landing gear to it. Uh, got some metal hinges, um, motor mounts there. This thing, the doors, even as small as it is, the doors open on it, and uh, very, very scale little plane. I really, really like it. I can't wait to get it built. I've been wanting one of these for a long time, um, the military version. <coughs> there's a little panels that go over your landing gear and these are not wood in the clip wing cub from world models they're wood and pretty delicate these are metal they're aluminum maybe a little bit of a heavy plane I'm not sure yet but uh, and there's your tail landing gear but these these are aluminum painted so they're not going to bend or break on you uh, kind of like that let's see there's a the bag of that stuff let those out I gotta put them up um, Here's your tail section. It is not pre-hinged, but it is pre-drilled for your control horns. It's got the holes already drilled to mount all that stuff. The stickers are already on it. Uh, but from what I can see of this so far, it looks like it's built really well. The bottom side of the wings are silver, uh, and the top are, are green. And that's your horizontal stab and your vertical and uh, elevator and stuff that goes there. Um, the wings are not pre-hinged on this one. Most models aren't. Most of your ARFs are not. But they, there again, they, the covering looks really good and tight. No wrinkles in it hardly anywhere. Um, it, it looks to be, you know, built pretty good. Uh, one thing I like about this cub, it's a two-piece wing. It has an aluminum tube, or maybe carbon fiber one. But anyway, it has aluminum tube, uh, like, you know, like a sport plane or something. But it's a two-piece wing, so it's going to be easier to transport. Um, and a uh, nice looking army color scheme on it. All the stripes and everything already in place. And then there's your manual. And the stickers that go with that. Got the pretty little hot girl goes on the side of it. I used to do that on the airplanes back then. But I don't know if you can see it, but there's a picture. Uh, kind of a black and white picture, but it's uh, that's what it looks like. The fuselage. I've looked it over. I already had it out. It looks to be built really well inside. The control rods to the elevator and uh, rudder are already installed. Um, when you buy this model, you do have to buy the uh, dashboard extra if you want it. And it's very detailed. It comes with the dashboard and the little throttle stick that you glue in here. And then also the, the motors, the fake motors, you have to buy them extra. But uh, this kit, just from what I can see, looks to be built really solid. Nice woodwork inside. Um, it comes also set up for nitro or electric. Here's your box for your electric motor, which I won't use. The uh, only thing I like electrics in is my little micros and stuff. I, I don't like electrics in big planes, but I do like the little micros. So. Anyway, there's a windshield. You have to cut that out. Glue it on. All your control rods are very nicely packed in this foam and all taped up, so shouldn't be nothing lost. And it does have a carbon fiber uh, wing tube, I see, in that package. Goes in here. And here we go. We got um, some more aluminum pieces, probably to do with landing gear, tailwheel, uh, nuts and bolts bag, fuel tank assembly, all that in here in that bag. So that looks nice. Now let's see what we got in here. Here is, let me unwrap it here and show you. I think the little dashboard is, I want to say it's $19. This plane ends up costing you right at 200 bucks if you get all the detail stuff. But, but man, look at that little dashboard. Is that not sharp? I mean, it just 
the numbers, everything on it, you can read them. It looks like a, a real little dash. It's it's a nice looking dashboard. Um, so uh, it's extra, but it's worth the money to get it to really make it look scale to put inside there. So let me put that back. Oh, and here's the here's the little throttle. It even says throttle on it. This lever even moves. You glue that to the side of the plane on the left side, and that's where your throttle goes in a cub. But uh, very nice looking stuff here. They've got. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'd like to see if this will fit in my clipped wing red cub. If it does, I'll order another one. But I'm not sure if it'll fit or not. They're both one six scale, but you know it all kind of depends on how they're put together. So let me get that all back down in there. All right, here is the. Uh, let me unbox these or unwrap them. Here's the engines I was telling you about. Very very nice looking fake engines. I love them. They're only ten bucks for a set. Uh, get all the tape. Well, they don't want it coming apart. But like I said, the engines, the fake engines, and the dashboard, you will have to order extra. But uh, tell me that doesn't look real. I mean, it's got the little silver heads. It's even got the vent, uh, or the, I don't know what that is, the air cover up here over the heads, like a real one. The exhaust tubes come out. It's mounted on a piece of, of uh, plywood, and you just glue that to the outside of the cowl. And that's that's one of the sharpest looking fake engines I've ever seen on a Cub, especially a small one like this. And for ten bucks for a set, you know, you got a little freight on top of that, but you can't beat that. So probably five bucks freight, so fifteen bucks. I'm going to order another set of these to put on my uh, red and white clipped wing Cub also, because I like them way better than those little plastic ones you have to paint. And it's really the scale's not off that much. My fifth wing J3 Cub, I may go ahead and get a set of these to put on there because it it would. A little bit off scale, but not too bad. But anyway, they uh, they do a really good job packing this thing. They've got the cow completely enclosed in cardboard and foam down in here. If I can get it out, and it's uh, very nicely painted. Got a real slick paint job on it. Uh, green, of course, to match, and uh, got the silver bottom, just like the bottom of the silver wings and fuselage. So it's it's a uh, really done up well. It, it's, this kit to me seems to be built extremely well. Uh, I had somebody tell me they didn't think Ma Maxford was built all that well but uh, after looking at this one I have to disagree with them. To me so far what I've seen it's built extremely well. So anyway there is unboxing of the uh, World Models fit, 6 scale clipped wing Piper Cub with a 63 inch wingspan. This is the Maxford USA L4 Grasshopper 1 6 scale uh, Green Army Edition. Uh, we will do a build video on this one also because this is my first one from Maxford USA. So I want to see how well it goes together and show you guys out there. And, and uh, So far I'm very impressed. I will probably buy some more of their models depending on how this goes. But I, it looks like it's going to go real well. So. Anyway, there you go. Unboxing of two Piper Cubs. We'll get the build videos going as soon as I can. Um, yeah, there's the unboxing of the two planes. One thing I forgot to tell you, on the Maxford USA, the L4 Grasshopper, the green one, I'm going to be running a 54 Thunder Tiger four-stroke on that. Um, and it's got a 71-inch wingspan and a 52 four-stroke Magnum on the, the Piper Cub. It's actually the same original engine that I had on my other one. Uh, that I traded to Ken. He ended up, he, we crashed it. He crashed it here a couple of years, about a year ago. And anyway, I bought the engine back off of him. So it'll be the original engine that I had in my first plane. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed and we'll try to get the build videos coming as soon as we can. Hopefully, maybe I can start on one of them next weekend. Uh, some of this ball season slows down a little bit. But uh, thanks for watching. Happy flying to you.